Hi, my name is Sandy Carter and I'm COO of Unstoppable Domains and the CEO and founder of Unstoppable Women of Web3 and the Metaverse. Unstoppable Domains is a digital identity platform. It's an identity that travels with you throughout the metaverse. So unlike Web2, where your digital identity or your username and password is really attached to a platform, in Web3, your digital identity travels with you. So you use it to log in, you collect all the data, you own it. That's why we call it the ownership economy because you're owning that data and then you can maximize your rewards and your brand based on that data. And Unstoppable Women of Web3 in the Metaverse is a group that I founded in March, International Women's Day of last year. Um, I found it because I found so many women who are interested in Web3 in the Metaverse, but they're not taking the risk and going for the jobs because they just didn't feel like they knew everything about it. And so I started the group dedicated to educating them on what the Metaverse is, what blockchain is, what is um, Web3. Uh, we have that today translated into Spanish, coming soon in French. Uh, and we also did a special class for young girls too, ages six to uh, 18 as well. I would say that the youth are ahead of us. In fact, if we were selling to the youth today, there'd be so much more investment in the metaverse. They're going after Roblox and building things today. In fact, 60% of Roblox users are young girls, which is exciting for me. Um, and so the youth get it. They know and understand that digital assets have value. You don't have to explain it to them. They get it uh, and they want to help progress it. So I believe when the youth come up, the whole world will change because of the way that they've grown up inside of games and Roblox and understanding the value of digital assets. I'll just tell you a story. I, uh, one of my girlfriends, her daughter was having a birthday party. Um, so I asked her, I said, Sabrina, what do you want for your birthday? I was expecting clothes or jewelry or maybe a new pillow for her newly designed um, bedroom. But what she said is, I want Roblox, which are digital currency that she could spend in the Roblox game. That's all she wanted. And so I was asking her about it and she goes, oh, that's so much more valuable than anything that you can get me physical because it's going to waste away. But my digital asset will be with me forever. That is from the mouth of a 13 year old. So I'm really excited about both the consumer metaverse and the industrial metaverse. And I'll start first with the industrial metaverse. A lot of people call that a digital twin. Um, and I love it because we're seeing companies like um, Mosini and BMW and others create metaverses that they can design in. Um, and they're seeing not only sustainability results from that, by combining the metaverse with AI, they're able to do simulations. So that means that they can simulate how metal processing is done, simulate how design is done. Uh, Nike can simulate the way a shoe is done. Uh, all these simulations that use AI in the metaverse enable them to build better products leveraging that digital twin concept. So I think industrial metaverse, it's already here. We just haven't called it that. I think on the consumer side, we still have a little ways to go, except with the youth, um, explaining its value. But I'm already seeing companies like Accenture really leverage it, or even Forever 21, leverage it to co-create with others, with employees, with customers, um, you know, with their potential consumers that are out there. And that's what really excites me. It's the business cases. What is the value for the end user? If you obsess over the customer, you're going to get something that's really powerful. I love coming to Metaverse and Web3 events because of the people that you meet. I, I've never come to an event where I didn't walk away with new contacts who taught me something and that we could potentially partner with or we're going to add value into this huge value chain that we're creating. Um, I've learned so much at this particular event from the people that I've met. And for me, the real power was in the networking. Who's here? Is it the right set of people that are here? The quality is very high. If you want to follow Unstoppable Domains, we're Unstoppable Web on Twitter. Uh, Unstoppable Women of Web3 and the Metaverse is Unstoppable Wow3. Uh, and both of those are on Twitter. We're also on LinkedIn and Telegram and Discord and everything else. If you have any problems, you can reach out to me, Sandy underscore Carter on Twitter or basically any social platform that you want.